My name is Daniel Parte, and I am the Caldwell Visiting Professor at the Center for Latin American and Caribbean Studies at Brown University. Uh, I am visiting from Chile, uh, where I am Associate Professor of Musicology at the Catholic University in Santiago. Here at Brown this semester, I'm teaching a course titled Music, Gender, and Sexuality in Latin America. And it's a course that focuses on the ways in which music uh, reflects and challenges notions of or norms of gender and sexuality in specific historical moments. Uh, the case studies in the course are all uh, in Latin America, so we're looking at music from Cuba, Mexico, Argentina, uh, Chile, uh, and through these case studies we're seeing how particular artists and their music have challenged or uh, perpetuated certain ideas about gender and sexuality. My current research project, the one that I'm developing here at the Brown, is a new project that I started here, and it, it, it's a study of a music movement that developed in Latin America in the late 60s, early 1970s, which was a politically engaged or militant song movement. This particular period uh, in Latin America, uh, within the left, was uh, highly homophobic. And, and one of the things that I'm interested in, in studying in this period is how artists who were queer traversed these difficult waters and also how their gender and sexuality influenced the music they created, the alliances they constructed. Ultimately, I'm interested in revisiting this music and um, coming up with new interpretations of the meanings of this music. Time at, at Brown and particularly at Clax has been wonderful for several reasons. Um, first, the um, scholars that I've been able to meet and interact with have been very, um, we've had very productive conversations. There's several scholars who are working on similar issues to the one that I'm working on in terms of the studies of gender and sexuality, musicology, ethnomusicology, Latin American studies, political science. I've received wonderful feedback and uh, suggestions for how the project might develop in the short and the long term, and that has been incredibly productive. Also, the, the Brown Library has been essential to the project I think has developed. Many of the sources that I'm using, I've been able to find at the library here that I wouldn't have access if uh, I would have done this project back in Chile. The class that I'm teaching is, is going very well. I have a, a wonderful mix of students uh, from a wide range of concentrations. I have some PhD students, some uh, advanced undergraduate students, some come from a, a music um, background, in musicology and in musicology, some others from Latin American studies, political science, sociology. Uh, so the discussions have been very rich since they have been able to contribute from their own backgrounds and perspectives.